Hey friends, Kelly here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm crafting at night, which I don't typically film, but I wanted to throw on the camera and just kind of film a little bit of this and um, show you what I've been working on here. So I am creating an envelope um, gift stack, I guess is the best way to describe it. So this is something I saw Dearly D um, put together on her Patreon page. So I'm a Patreon for Dearly D, Dearly D and um, just as a little side commercial, highly recommend you check out her, um, both her YouTube channel, her Instagram feed, and definitely consider becoming a Patreon of hers because she shares cool things like this. So she had created an envelope stack um, for her sister's birthday. So it was basically like a stacked birthday card. And I just loved it. I thought it was such a unique um, way to send a gift or a card to somebody. And um, I can't quite remember who she referenced that she found it from, but I'm sure you could probably search stacked envelope or something to that effect and find something. But this is gonna be my version. Now she used the um, We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope punch board. I don't have one of those. I actually considered getting one, but truthfully, I don't need another tool. So I just sat down tonight and I played around with some other scratch paper and came up with um, a way to create envelopes. So I wanted to share that with you. I've already put these three together. So this is uh, the patterns that I had picked out at the store. I was at Hobby Lobby the other day and I picked these out um, because they're super bright, super fun. And the recipient of this is going to be my new friend, Melissa, who is my match this month for the BFF sticker club. So um, that is this whole new community I have discovered, um, sticker lovers. And so they do this really great, um, kind of like a pen pal matchup. And so we were matched. So she's sending me some stickers. I'm sending her some stickers. I'm super excited about it. So I wanted this to be super bright, super fun. So these are the patterns. These are actually just more of like thin, um, regular paper. They're not even two-sided. They're just like a pattern paper, um, pretty thin quality. But I think for this project, that'll work out just fine. So what I'm sticking in here are stickers. Da, 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 da. These are the stickers I'm sending her. So there's a big pile of stickers here. And I'm also going to include a couple of fun little treats. So I've got a face mask. I've got these fun little, um, sorry for the <laughs> crinkly noise. I'll just leave them sit there. Um, fun little squishy things. I'm going to probably pop in maybe my favorite tea. And because it's kind of candy-ish. It's like a prickly pear tea. Love it. Um, I'll probably pop a tea bag in there and maybe some other sort of candies. I kind of want to find like a little bag of those tiny little, I um, can't remember what they're called, but they're like a candy, like a gum, teeny tiny squares, chiclets. No, that's probably not right. Something like that. So I just have that in my head. So I want to find that. Um, and then just kind of load this up with little presents. So I am going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to create the final little tiny envelope. And then I will probably just do a quick process of how I embellish this. I'm not really sure how that's gonna go and I don't know if I'm doing that tonight or if I'm going to wait till tomorrow. So we shall see how that turns out, but I'll go ahead and fast forward you guys now. So the first thing I want to point out is that if you're using a pattern paper that has this kind of like a right side up, you want to make sure that you adjust for that. So I basically had to figure out how to cut this paper so that the rainbows were facing up. Um, but what I've done is I've cut this page, this paper rather, to a four by four roughly. And how I figure out my size is I take the height of the item I want to put in and I double that. Um, so for example, my my biggest envelope was like a nine by nine. And then I just kind of went down from there. So they were a little bit bigger than necessary, but that was kind of how I based it. Um, so you can see, I've just gone ahead and I found the center of my paper. So by doing, uh, to do that, all I did was I used my paper trimmer to give me a guide and I cr made a little cross section. Um, and then I'm just folding each corner in towards it. Now you don't have to worry so much about overlap on the tops and the bottoms. And I will show you why here in just a moment, but I'm just getting everything lined up. And because I used a pattern that kind of had a right side up, um, I had to play with it a little bit more, but next thing I'm just making sure that it fits. So that little tiny set of stickers, those little puffy stickers, I ended up just trimming off some of the, the clear backing, um, to make sure it would fit. And then once I get everything lined up the way I like it, 
I'm going to go ahead and just kind of crease the edges. So I'm not getting out a scoring board. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just folding it all together, making sure I have it the right way up. And then for the top to finish it off, I'm just going to round the corner. And then now I've got it all folded out. And when I'm doing this for myself, I don't, I don't trace out the corners, but I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to trace out the corners. I'm just going to cut those out. That's basically what that We Are Memory Keepers board is doing, is punching out those corners and creating score lines. This is the easy way of doing that. So that over flap that you saw um, from the top and the bottom, you're getting rid of that by just notching out these corners. So the next thing I need to do is just adhere it all together. So I'm just going to run my adhesive down. Oh, before that, I want to finish off this edge and get rid of that pointed corner. I just cut it across the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere it down. So the only thing I can say about this, the tip I have for you, is don't, um, if that bottom piece section comes up higher, you just want to make sure you don't accidentally glue your envelope together. So there you go. One beautiful envelope stack. So clearly it's the next day here. I ran out of steam, um, but before I had finished for the night, I had gone in and st uh, shopped my stash. So I used that rainbow piece of paper to go ahead and pull stuff out of my stash. Um, originally I did talk through this and kind of show you guys what I was doing, but after editing, I realized I could just talk about it here and go faster. <laughs> you don't need to listen to me gab on about all that. So um, what I've done is I've just grabbed out a few bits from my citrus twist kits that I've dismantled. I have some of those kits that I've created myself with my own stash. I have these stickers I picked up at the dollar store, some stickers I printed and cut myself on some crappy vinyl paper I don't like. Um, more to come on that potentially. And, um, and then just some random die cuts, some old Project Life cards that kind of fit with the idea and the theme. Um, more Citrus Twist stuff, some Maggie Holmes stuff. Um, basically, I just shot my stash and grabbed little bits and pieces. Um, a few of these pieces are from Illustrated Faith. Like, I really just used the color scheme and the idea of fun and bright to pull together a little stash to be able to make this. So let me kind of just walk you through how I now decorate these envelopes. So first thing I did was I just kind of figured out how I wanted to stack them. So I decided I wanted to kind of turn them um, so they were a little offset, so it was a little more interesting. And I'm just gluing them together with a bit of um, adhesive. So I wanted to kind of line it up so that the little one was a little bit more straight on, if that makes sense. Um, but now I have them all secured together and I'm just gonna basically play with everything I have. So I'm gonna pull out, oh boy, all kinds of stuff. And I'll tell you a little bit more about kind of the struggles or the, or the tricks that I learned as I was going. Um, for me, I didn't want to see any of the pieces um, when you flipped up the flaps. So um, I didn't want to have anything overlapping that I would have to cover on the other side, if that makes sense. So basically, I spend a lot of time just kind of auditioning pieces and playing around. And I treated each one of these envelopes, when you flipped them up, I kind of treated them each as their own individual piece. So they each get decorated kind of in their own little clusters. So this first one I thought was so cute with that little girl. It's kind of like the first one you open and it's like, hi, hey, even though it doesn't really look like me, I just think she's adorable. Um, I'm really, really, really trying to get over my literal scrapbooking and literal um, ideas of having to have things like people look like me, or if I'm talking about ice cream, then everything better be ice cream. So this was a fun project to kind of push me outside of those limits, um, which I think is really good. I'm always saying, you know, I'm encouraging you guys to push yourselves, challenge yourselves, and yet I kind of fail at that. So I'm really trying hard, um, and this was a great project for that. So I also wanted to keep in mind that when everything is stacked together and closed, that it all would be visible. So that's how I, I used the process of decorating. I kind of kept that in my mind. So I loved that little puffy sticker with the heart that looks like a stamp, even though it's kind of the wrong side of an envelope you would stamp. I just still thought it was really cute. I end up taking it off, but you'll see what I do in the end. Um, I loved the little Ferris wheel, but it was kind of feeling lost. The other thing I wanted to make sure I was doing was, even though you're going to put stuff in the envelope and not necessarily the, see the back of it, I still wanted to decorate it so if you took everything out, you would see um, a lot of the really cute little decorations. It wouldn't be a big white space. So one thing I end up doing is I go to this sticker book. It's um, I think it's by Chamel. I don't remember where I got it or when I got it. If I can link it, I will. 
Um, but I love the colors because it went really well with the pattern paper I used. So I decided to pull that out and I go back to it a lot. Um, so I flipped through it a ton. I edited out a ton of me flipping through these stickers, but um, the color schemes just worked really well. So I have these little dot stickers. I think this is more for planning, planners. I don't really use a planner, so um, I don't know when else I would use those stickers. But they looked like the confetti dots that are on the the base envelope. So I pulled those out, used those, and then I just decorated with a few more of the little stickers. Um, I loved that little hello speech bubble. I put that out on the front. That kind of made sense to me to say, hello, here's your fun package. So um, I've used that. And then this Project Life card, I've just gone ahead and trimmed out the sentiment on it. I thought it was really cute. Kind of goes with the whole um, fun theme of this. I used a paper punch, just a circle paper punch, to be able to kind of make it continue that little ticket look. I did not want to fussy cut that out because it would no longer be circles had I done that. Um, I did go into one of those kits that I had shown you guys there when I was kind of going through my little stash that I had made and pulled out a few of these little rainbow puffy stickers. I've been hoarding those stickers so it was, felt really good to use them. And same thing with these epoxy hearts. I also have been hoarding these and it felt good to get used to use some of those up. Um, which it's also kind of hard because I love them and I'm going to be really bummed when I'm I, when they're all gone because I don't know if I'll be able to find them again. They were an Illustrated Faith um, product that I found at camp actually a couple of years ago when I went to Bible camp with my small group which that was a total blast um at any rate uh so here I've gone in and I've used that fun bright llama I have pulled out this floral to kind of give it a little more background and then um a couple more of these little floral stickers are just kind of sprinkling them around and I really liked using that other little rainbow circle sticker and the magic sticker to kind of um I don't know, just give it a little more interest when you open up the envelope. It felt like there was too much space there, needed something. Now, this smile sticker was a total pain. I hate these big all um, together word stickers. I hardly ever use them because they're just uh, painstaking to get out. But I did use this one. Um, I used my little handy dandy skewer, which I know I've shared with you guys as a wonderful tool to keep next to you. Um, comes in handy a lot. So this took so long to poke out all these little paper bits and there were really thin paper stickers. So I cannot believe that I actually managed to get both of these on without ripping them. That was um, a feat upon itself. Is that the right way to say that? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I got it on the page and then I did get to use one of those little stickers that I had printed. Um, like I said, the quality of this vinyl is kind of crap. I don't like it. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. it. It was a small package, I think maybe like 20 sheets and um, it was like 10 bucks. I wanted to test it out and it's garbage. So I'm not even going to bother linking it or maybe I should so I can warn you guys not to buy it. Um, but now I'm moving on. So I've got these three done. I've got this fourth one done. Uh, that big middle space kind of felt um, like it was missing something. So I spent a lot of time going through back and forth to find something to fit in there. Um, and I, I'm, I think probably this project, the thing that took me the longest was just going through and looking at all the stickers, but it was a lot of fun. So here I decided I want to make my own stamp. That rainbow sticker I had first pulled out, I totally ruined. Um, so I go back, I found this unicorn and I mounted it on white paper because the first time I didn't and it was a disaster. And then I've just used one of those decorative scissors. Like I had bunches of those, those um, not stickers, scissors years ago. I ditched most of them, but thankfully I kept this one because I always thought it, it looked like a postage stamp. So I've got that. I pulled out a stamp to kind of give that used postage look. So I'm just going to stamp that right there onto the little faux stamp I've made um, and pop that right on there. And few more little bits here and there and that is pretty much it um I just I can't tell you how much I loved this project it was so much fun oh I probably should tell you guys about the velcro dots um I ended up buying these velcro 
uh, dots from Amazon. I'll link them. They're super heavy duty, like strength wise. They're really good. But this was the last thing I did. This was um, something that Dee had pointed out when she made her envelope stack was to put these on last because you don't quite know where you're going to end up putting them based on how you decorate. So I took her advice and I put them on last. I ended up still having to move a few because once I understood the functionality of opening them, um, it made it easier to decide where they were going to be. I will tell you that not having used cardstock for the base papers um, was maybe, I think it'll work out just fine, but it, it is definitely thinner. And so to open these envelopes, you kind of have a have to be a little more delicate with cardstock and having a little more heft to them. I don't think that would be as big of an issue, but I think it'll all work out. So here is the final product. Um, this was super duper fun. I'm totally going to do this again. I'm, I think this would be a really fun way to create a little gift. That's not, um, super over the top or maybe it is, I don't know. Um, but if you were giving maybe some gift cards and a card and you could throw in some other fun stuff, I think this would be really fun for kids, um, or your adult friends that are kids at heart. Like I'm totally thinking of my best friend. She's definitely getting some of these stacked envelopes. Um, and then finally I threw it in a package and just decorated the outside and kind of sticker bombed it and got it in the post. So, it was super fun. I thank you so much for sticking around and watching my video. And if you liked this content, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And then finally, I would love for you to hit that little bell so you're getting notifications when new videos are posted. Thanks, friends, and I'll see you next time.